If you don't have a big entourage and a whole business organization, how do I get you for a film? Is it that I just send you? Do I mail you a script? Is that it? Or <laughs> as, a, as a director? Well, I'm, I do have an agent again now, but I did for four years not have one. I, I s told everyone, if you want me, go to James Howe Ely in London. And he didn't exist. It was, <laughs> it was me on a different email account. Is that right? Yeah. You made up a name. Yeah. James Howe, what is it? James Howe Ely. James uh, Howe Ely. I used to fancy a girl called Anne Howe Ely. She wore big earrings and uh, she was attractive. <laughs> so James Howe Ely handled everything. And he'd get these emails. They uh, would say, can you get this script to Hugh? And yeah. I would write back, yeah, I'll try and get him to read it this week. <laughs> I saved myself <laughs> an absolute fortune. fortune. But the problem was... These people who were sending stuff, they, they wanted a personal relationship right, with James. They'd right. say, we're coming to London next week, let's have lunch. <laughs> Did you ever call anyone as James Howe Ely? Yeah, I got rumbled in the end. I can't remember what happened, but I, uh, James had to get on the phone one time. What was James's voice like? Well, I was watching the golf, and there was a Scottish commentator, so I thought, right, he's Scottish. Right. And I did a, a pretty bad Scottish accent. Like and my call, I go, hello, Mr. Howe Ely, uh, how are you? What would you oh, say? Oh, that's right. N nice to see you. Nice to hear from you, Howard. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that script to Hugh as fast as I can now. Did you uh, feel guilty doing that? Uh, I did a bit, yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then I started to slip up, because if I'd had a drink or two, right. I'd write emails as James and I'd sign off Hugh by mistake. <laughs> <laughs>